leaders at True North Community Church are just heartbroken, not only over the thousands of dollars in equipment that was stolen, but the sheer destruction after a robbery Thursday night. Even as the congregation begins healing and taking inventory, worship will go on right here in the church's parking lot on Sunday. You can see there's a lot of, the damage that was done was caused not only by the burglary, but also by fire extinguishers. They took fire extinguishers and blew them everywhere to try to cover the tracks. Super fine dust covers nearly every surface in the offices of True North Community Church in Lansing. Thieves broke in Thursday night. Police found blood near a broken window. In total, the church is looking at thousands of dollars in damages. At first glance, with the computers and with those being ruined, uh, the monitors, the printers, and all of the tools were right around five to maybe $10,000. But despite the losses, Hams and Pastor Gary Schnepp say they're practicing what they preach. Our response is we choose to love. You know, you might have given us a road bump, but you're not going to stop us. Whoever the perpetrators are, before they even ask, they've been forgiven. We would just like to love and go on the journey with them. The church leaders are looking ahead. In the weeks to come, a restoration team will come in to rip up the damaged carpets. Hams tells me the dust from the fire extinguishers is so fine, it's like cleaning up smoke damage. But after the initial heavy lift, church leaders will look to their community for help. Then there's all these items that are going to have to be carried here and there. So, I mean, that many hands make the workload light, right? <laughs> leaders will keep the congregation updated and let you know how you can lend a helping hand through the church's Facebook page. For now, reporting in Lansing, I'm your neighborhood reporter, Elle Myers. Fox 47 News.